Hello everybody and welcome back to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Thornton Farm. Now today we're not actually going to be working on Thornton Farm, no. We are heading down to Devon to look at some combines because, um, well, for the last couple what episodes this, I don't know what episode this is, but um, we've been using this class Dominator. It's an absolutely amazing combine for what it is and for the price and stuff, but it's just a little bit too small for what we want now. Now that the farm's growing, now, now that we have some big plans and stuff, so... We're going to be shopping today. Now, I'm not going to be picking the combine. No, no, no. You guys are going to be picking the combine. So I'm just going to show you some options that are in our price range. And uh, you guys get to vote one of... Th I think it was three they said they had for sale. Um, well, three in our price range anyway. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to head... We're going to jump into the Land Rover real quick. Close the door. So yes, guys, we're going to be heading down to Devon now. It should take us about two hours to get there, I think. Um, not too far away from Gloucester. So guys, I'm going to enjoy this long, boring journey, a comfortable journey actually, I can't imagine Land Rovers being the uh, the best motorway vehicles, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go down to Devon, and I'll see you guys there. Okay everybody, so we are coming up on the farm now, I believe it's called Willow Farm this one, so yeah, we are, uh, Willow Farm is currently selling up uh, to move abroad I believe. So they're saying that combines, it's quite a big farm. I, uh, what we are going to be... Ooh, this is the turning. Indicator, yes. Um, yeah, the one we're going to be buying today, one of the, the combines we can buy, is a New Holland. Um, can't remember the models, but we'll go, ahead, we'll go ahead and take a look at them. And once again, you guys get to decide which one we take home. Uh, Willow Farm. Yeah, this sign here. Willow Farm is down this way. Very right, bumpy road. This is going to be interesting for the Land Rover. Good job we did bring the Land Rover after all. So this must be it, guys. This is Willow Farm. Very, very, very nice view, actually. There's a hot air balloon up there. Did I just see a hot air balloon? Yes, yeah, up there. Look. Looks like it's going to rain soon, though, so let's hurry up and get this out of the way. Um, so I was told they're in the backfield around here. Uh, that surely is not the combine we came to look at. Surely not. No, I'm joking. They're on this main field, apparently. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Hello. So let's go ahead and turn the Land Rover off. I thought we need some handbrakes as well. And we'll jump out. So, guys, these are our options. Hello. What's this? A class Lexion 530. Well out of our price range, unfortunately. <laughs> so we have the New Holland TF78. Now, just a bit of background. The uh, owner of the farm told us that this is their oldest combine, but it's also their biggest and meanest combine. Look at the width of this. Ready? Um, yeah, that's their biggest combine. Oldest. It's got a lot of work hours on the clock. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interior, shall we? This is the interior. The interior is not bad. Don't forget, at the time of being brand new, this would have been a premium combine. Don't forget, we've got some working gauges there. Do they work? Yeah, they work. All, four, all three of them work. We've got GPS on this one as well, which is nice. Not really much more to look at. Um, for all playing bits aside, guys, this tractor has no IC, um, but it does get dirty, which is nice. Um, I actually do like this one a lot. It's got a nice dirt texture on it. Next, we have the new... These have all been cleaned recently, guys, by the way, so that's why they look a bit shiny. This is the newest one of the pack. This is the New Holland... Where's the badge number? I believe it's actually a Bison. Yes, it is there. Sorry, New Holland Bison TC54. Now, this is, like I said, the newest one. Uh, let's take a look at the inside of this one. This one... This one's got a nice interior. Not too keen on the seat cover. The seat texture I can change myself, guys. But the interior itself is very nice. Working gauges, that's a assume. I'm going to let you guys hear that again. When I start it up, it actually beeps. Listen. There we go. Now, I'm assuming this one's broke. The uh, work hours is broke because it only says 0.1 on it. And this is obviously quite an old combine. Once again, guys, roleplay aside, that work hour thing does work, which is quite interesting. This one does get dirty as well, guys, and it also has IC, which is interesting. So we can open the door. I believe that's it, but this one, it, this one's quite interesting, guys. This one would have been the bottom of the range at the time, because this one has a manual unfold. Yes, if we press X, nothing... Oh, we've got multiple camera views. 
If we press X, nothing happens. We have to unfold it manually. There's no, unfortunately, they didn't put it on the button, so I may move the IC points. But for now, they're right here, and then we actually have to do it, do it manually, like so. Like that. So we have to unfold it manually, and we also have to unload it manually. Yes, this one does not automatically unload into a trailer. Um, you have to do it manually, which is quite interesting. But once again, this is a very manual tractor, so it would have been bottom of the range when they first bought it. Did I close that? I think I double pressed that by accident. There we go. So we'll go ahead and close the door. The pipe does go in, guys. I don't know why it's out, but it does go in. So that's the, uh, what's it called? The Bison TC54. Well, finally, we have this one, the New Holland TX34. Now, this is probably the nicest looking combine out of the three. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. This ladder does come down when you don't have drive control installed, but I got drive control installed. This is, um, I was going to say, it's a nice steering wheel. Interior is a bit bland. Does it have IC? This one, right, guys, so this one does not have IC and does not get dirty, okay? So this one does not have IC and it does not get dirty, but it is probably the best looking on the exterior. Dirt really does bother me, though. I wish things did get dirty, but there we go. So these are our three options, guys. The New Holland TF78, the big old one. This one does get dirty, remember? We've got the Bison uh, 54, was it? Yeah, 54. This one gets dirty. It has IC and it's completely manual, which would be quite interesting to use, actually. It's the smallest capacity, I believe. Or we have the TX34. Okay, so once again, guys, this one does not... There's a bit of a twitchy indicator on that one for some reason. This one does not get dirty and it does not have IC. So there's your options, guys. Cast them in the pole in the top right corner now. You can go ahead and do that. The class is there. This one, unfortunately, we can't afford, which is a shame. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drive back to Thornton Farm and get the flatbed ready. Now, if you don't like any of these guys, you can go ahead and recommend one in the comment section below. It has to be, for like the style we're doing with Thornton Farm, it has to be a, like a second-hand oldish one. So don't be recommending brand new John Deere's or anything. So yeah. Pick one of these three or write in the comment section which one you'd recommend if it's not any of these three. I'll go back to Thornton Farm and get the flatbed. If you did enjoy this episode, make sure you slap that thumbs up button. There will be another one uploaded straight after this, guys. I've been Simulate Gaming and I'll see you in the next one.